And now TMZ presents Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian in Baby, You Can Park My Car. Just don't scratch it, because it's worth about $400,000. Pete Davidson got behind the wheel of Kim K's Rolls Royce. It's like her famous one that's all whited out. He went to a jewelry shop called 14 Carats, but I did kind of peek the website a little bit. There's no engagement rings that I saw. Whoa, slow down. Nobody gets engaged after only a few weeks of dating, except Pete when he got engaged to Ariana Grande, but that was different. Kim and Pete are still getting to know each other. You know what, what I find really really interesting about this is they have such different lives. And so when she's now going to New York and she kind of like embraces, you know, his Staten Island life, and then he comes to LA and he gets all fancy schmancy uh, because it's Kim's turf. Pete Davidson's like Slumdog Millionaire. Like somehow everything, <laughs> everything keeps working out. Not sure Staten Island is technically considered a slum, but we get your point. As for Kim and Pete, they must be serious because Pete even got away with smoking a cigarette by the car. Plus, what happens if Pete Davidson <laughs> damages the rolls? He gets dumped. No, he doesn't. She let him drive the rolls and smoke a cigarette. Crashing that car ain't gonna do nothing. That BDE is impeccable. Yes, as the old adage goes, cars are replaceable, but good wangs last forever. Drive safe, Petey boy.